this message I'm leaving is from Mel Gibson. It's not going to be very nice. Gibson, Arnett. Hey, I'm checking in. And I'm recording this conversation, so just so you know. I'm calling you because some shit needs to change fast. Y'all don't have a lot of time to dicker around. Now, I am an individual who does not like to threaten people. That's not my gig. Uh, you know, everybody knows John 3.16. God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son that whoever believeth should never perish, but have everlasting life. Okay, time to move on. <laughs> per God. All the good angels, they're going to be freaking jetting, dude. Fast. And there's going to be a lot of people left behind. And a lot of the people that are going to be left behind, surprisingly, are people that think that they have a shoe into the kingdom. Well... I'm here to tell you something, and everybody who hung up on Jesus and I, who never listened to our messages, who didn't take, you know, heed with anything that I ever said, blah, 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 blah. It goes a little something like this, because I'm probably going to leave you seven messages, and eventually I will fall off the radar, and none of y'all going to know where to freaking find your precious Jesus. You did Passion of the Christ. It was very gory. I had no desire to see it. I'd seen it since I was five years old at the Easter wah wah wah. But people watched it and that's great, whatever. Whatever, good for them. Yay people, yay! You guys are great sitting there eating your popcorn and watching somebody get freaking slaughtered to death. Good for you, you Christians. So, I'm going to leave a couple of messages and I don't want people to take them the wrong way. I went to bed at 2 and got up at frickin' 4 because God needed me to. And I would suspect that most people on the west side are probably sleeping with visions of sugar plums dancing in their heads. Well, I called and I left you a message that was odd and I said, put a surveillance camera in front of my house. That is no longer a request. That's an order. You guys want your hope? You want your frickin' answers? Well, everybody's knocking on my door now that I said, I think I'm going to kind of quit. <sighs> what did the guy have to do? Provoke and evoke and do what he did to get on that cross. So anyway, here's how it goes. You guys get your asses up to Ocean Park, Washington and the Long Beach Peninsula. I want cameras everywhere. Everywhere I go, you guys watch what I do. Okay, I got cut off, so let's uh, cut with that. Was that eventually everything that I was going to do was going to leave an imprint. Uh, an amazing legacy. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I don't mean to dampen the snow and the whole, you know, Christmas is the time of blah, 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 blah. The whole fucking world is struggling and mourning and killing each other and thirsting and, you know, currency and the euro and what can we do to balance the budget and Newt Gingrich is this and blah 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 is that. I'm fucking sick of you guys. All of you. You know? So here's how it needs to go. If you guys want salvation. I want a camera because they cleared the timber so that you guys could do this. Put a camera at 12 o'clock on my front window and one adjacent east, or I mean west, about 250 feet over by my mailbox and capture what goes on through my front window in my garage. I can't go out into the field, Mel. You know, the world's an open movie set, but I've been harassed by the cops. And I don't like doing things in front of a bunch of people. I'm sly. I'm slick. Because my brother is the thief of the night. And so I'm forced to do a lot of what I do in the privacy of my own home. Despite the fact that that didn't even fucking matter. And they came and busted my doors down over and over and over. And now I'm impoverished. 
What? Because I work for God? Well, this is a universal message. GPHC, the four fucking letters you guys need to know. Y'all think you're getting into the kingdom? You think just because you're baptized? You think just because you pray? You think just because you have a ministry or you've made a great movie? Uh, 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 uh. Jesus started out as my daddy when I was young. We were husband and wife for five years. I was celibate and remained only with him. And now he's my brother. And if you know the Princess Bride, he says, My name is Bubba, you killed my brother, prepare to die. And he repeated it over and over and over. Ooh, it cut off at a good point. Okay, last message. Mm-hmm. So my last message goes a little something like this. <coughs> because I'm freaking getting sick. And I'm supposed to be at the Prince concert in two freaking days. Anyway. Everybody in Hollywood needs to start squawking to each other. Okay, how can we do this? How can we help her? What do we need to do? Let's do this, dude. I want everyone on board. Do you remember the big earthquake that happened in, I think it was 1986, down in Cali? <sighs> well... The Bible talks about a big old fat quake. And there's all these big old fat people standing in their big old fat stages like Joel Steen and freaking whatever on TBN and psh, saying this, that, and the other. Everybody capitalizing on Jesus. Everybody making a profit off Jesus. Well, God's pretty pissed. He's pretty pissed because of the way funds have been allocated. And he's plucking people one by one by one by one. And he's judging them. He's putting them on display for the whole world when you think of the child molestation cases and rapes and this and that and the other, all the bad. He's exposing it. He's shining a light on all of it, dude. Don't you understand? Judgment Day isn't one fucking day. Y'all don't understand the difference between relative and real time. And I'm the smartest bitch you're ever going to meet. I love to have fun when I know that I have my freedom and I'm safe to just do what I want to do. Oh my God, I told you a long time ago about timing and how to do everything perfect and that you can't recapture it or reenact it for you and your little movie award people. This is real deal. Biggest freaking documentary in the world. So people need to get their shit together. With their landing strips and their big old freaking mansions and concubines and stupid reality TV shows. It's over, dude. I didn't ever want to say I just wanted to be normal, just live a life. And Jesus didn't quite understand his destiny either. So yeah, do you want to know? That was the first time I heard God. And the first time I heard Jesus, he said, I'm sorry to bother you, but I need your help. Ten perfect words. And that's how it started. We will not be ignored anymore. So get up here and help me, please. Take care and remember, wherever you go, there you are.